Hello there, Septembers. So, it's just me, Michael, back giving you some thoughts basically on a couple of things, Destiny so far, and um, some of the bits and pieces that's been in the news recently. Um, and we'll crack on. Hopefully, putting some kind of screen slide there. If not, you'll just have me doing that. Destiny. Kind of a bit of a review in progress, this. So, what do I think so far about it? Well, it's good. It really is good. The shooting's tight. The controls are tight. The multiplayer is fun. A little bit mismatched in the levelings. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with the matchmaking, but you know, it is fun. A couple of glitches we've came across so far, a couple of bugs, but you know, the levels online do seem well drawn out. They seem well plotted together. So the crucibles especially are fun. The multiplayer, cooperative multiplayer online is a good laugh. It's very, very fun to do. It's very fun to play, especially when you get a couple of your friends in. I normally play with either my cousin, my brother, or one of my mates. And you'll probably see them in some of the playthrough videos that we've had. Now, it is good. It's got a lot of play value. It keeps on dragging your back. The upgrade systems are quite cool. The loot are cool. Getting some rare items and suddenly jump you up another 40 hit points or something, you know. That is all pretty quality to be honest but what about the small bits well a couple of qualms and these are qualms basically in the nitpicking of your sense so first of all we'll do the crucible now there is just something slightly wrong with the matchmaking on the crucible i don't know what it is i don't know how it's actually working you know the levels apparently don't make that much of a difference but then your guns are better in full stop. I genuinely do not have a clue what is going on with that there. Um, somebody said to me that they're actually going to be working on some kind of update for it, but I'm not sure. I haven't seen it myself. I mean, it, this all, is all a work in progress, I suppose. And, you know, but it seems to be some people on there are absolute bullet sponges and their guns are absolutely awesome and it's one hit wonders. And then you've got people like me who are just basically unleashing full clips into somebody's face and nothing actually happens. So go figure. Oh, so what else? Well, what else indeed? I would really like to be able to swap items with people. Um, so I'd like to be able to give some of my items to my brother while we're playing or my cousin and vice versa. Turns out really what you can just do with your items anyway is not so much you get the use out of them once you get something that's better. You tend to just put that on, discard whatever you've got. By all accounts, you know, the armour, the upgrades and everything else become a lot more involved and intuitive after level 20. But obviously I can only go up to level 19 at the moment, hence why it's a review in progress. Storyline is non-existent. Um, I mean, there is one there, but it's absolutely missing an emotional punch. It's missing any kind of narrative that really pulls you through. If it wasn't so fun to kill people and using the shooting system and you know, run around with your friends, gunning down a whole troop of people, I could see the game getting really repetitive, really rather quickly. The strike missions so far, they are the highlight of it. Um, get through the missions themselves, get onto the strike mission, play with a couple of friends, and no matter how high the level you actually are, those are still tough missions. They, these are not walks in the park, so definitely do that with friends if you're thinking of doing them. Overall, the game seems to be a bit of jack-of-all-trades kind of thing. Um, a master of nothing. It's great that they've tried it. It really is and I'm still enjoying it and I don't want that comment to detract away from the playability of it. I'm not saying it's a bad game. What I'm saying is there's potential for more there. There is You, you can sense that there's a game underneath Destiny and it's just wanting to poke its head and be absolutely quality but at the moment we've got kind of what we've got left is this little sheen over it that whilst immersive and fun to play is kind of missing that just spark that would make it a truly excellent game so that comment there isn't saying don't bother playing it that comment is play it everyone will get something out of it now i'm going to do a proper review after level 20 as i say this game is apparently up to level 20 and then it becomes something else entirely a total different beast so we'll have a look at that and we'll have a play around and we'll do all that now there has been some tweets, some updates, that there is the uh, the Glass Temple, Glass Shard, Glass Castle raid, I have no idea what the hell it's called. Level 26 raid though, that's going to be exciting. Apparently it's going to be very bloody hard as well. Give it a go, let me know how you crack on. 
drop me a comment down below. Also, check out the Destiny Twitter. The arguments on there are absolutely priceless. People arguing over everything from the story, from how great the game is. You know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Not everyone's going to get exactly the same thing out of a game. Not everyone's going to want to enjoy it and savour every moment. Some people are just going to want to speed run all the way through it. And that's completely fine. Playing style's your own. Go for it. Just, if you haven't played it, or if you're kind of sitting on the fence with your opinion, you know, it is a fun game. Just remember that. Just play it. Enjoy it. It is what it is. So, some big news this morning. Well, I'll say big news this morning. We already knew it was the case, but Microsoft had bought out Minecraft. Now, I don't really know how to feel about that. Kind of a thing how Mr. Notch has kind of gone back on all of his beliefs, but hell, two and a half billion, I'll do that to a person. So it'll be interesting to see what direction Microsoft want to take it, how inclusive and immersive it's going to be, certainly around their future PCs and with the Xbox. be interesting to see if they actually do anything, take in a different direction, or if they're just going to keep on producing the same game. Now, it is all fun. It is all good to play, and we've got a couple of videos that I've recorded with my friend and my brother that will be coming online. But will they change it? Will they do anything new with it? Or will they just keep on, you know, producing it and using it as a cash cow? Because it would be unfortunate to see that. I'd like to see it in some new hands, being able to try something new. I don't know what you could do new with it, but that's why I don't work for them. So, there we are. Now, really quick update. I've been plashing on loads of playthrough videos the editing's taken a little bit of a while for it but you know if you like what you see subscribe watch the video drop a comment drop a like etc etc um if you want to play destiny online i'll put my game tag in the description again down below It'll be fun to play with you um i've had one ad but unfortunately i've never been able to catch him at the same time that i've been playing so yeah i'm from england and i work nine five but yeah sorry so uh, that is all from me, Septembers. So, catch you later.